My name is Melissa Hummel. I'm a R&D mechanical engineer. I started here as an intern the summer of 2022, worked for three months, finished my school, uh, my college degree, and then came back in August of 2023 as a full-time engineer. So now I've been here six months, but also kind of eight months if you include the internship. I've gotten a lot of great opportunities, both when I was an intern and now as a full-time engineer. I'm actually getting to fly to Europe this coming weekend after only being here six months to help with the view and assist in the surgery for our new leading edge product. Um, and so it's a great opportunity to actually get to go into the field, see how, how it's used and be able to bring that feedback back to our team as we're working to bring this product to market and get it launched. So a typical day for me, I am, I really appreciate the company's flexible uh, hours policy. We don't all come in at nine and leave at five. I'm someone who gets here early, so I usually get here about 7 a.m. and I have about an hour and a half, two hours of relative quiet in the space and I use that time to kind of get any sort of administrative document work done, work on some engineering drawings and things that are a little bit harder to do when you have a bunch of noise going on. Then other people start to arrive and I'll usually have a meeting or two. Then kind of late morning and early afternoon, I will work on physical products, testing, building, troubleshooting. Sometimes this involves working on the computer with some CAD. Sometimes it involves going into the machine shop and dremeling away till things fit together. Um, and then I usually leave around four o'clock. Other people are still working on their day, but we kind of get to keep that balance of I come early, leave early, which really works well for me. I worked as an EMT on an ambulance, and somebody who worked on this volunteer service with me had also worked at Lexington Medical. One day on a shift, we had a discussion. They were talking about the work they did here, and I thought it sounded really cool to be able to respond and rapidly design and try to actually address problems that you know exist via the surgeon feedback. And so I came in as an intern, um, got to work for three months. I was given a lot of responsibility and given my own project that was actually used. And when I came back as full time, I saw how it had progressed and how the uh, stepping stones I had laid had built that foundation and brought it into what it is today. And as an intern, I had felt incre incredibly thankful for that opportunity of actually getting to test my skills and work in, on a real project rather than just a small subset or a small just document pushing. Really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed the focus on actually getting our engineers into the field to see how the product is used, understanding how it's used, and talking with surgeons and getting that feedback, which is something I didn't see at a lot of other companies, which motivated my decision to come back and work full time. So I know that I'm working on something that is actively improving and addressing issues that need to be improved within the medical field and within other people's lives. We have a huge engineering space, open lab, where we all get to build and work on our new projects. When new parts come in, we're like, oh yeah, our toys are here. We get to play around. So it's a lot of fun within the engineering uh, lab and working with each other. Everyone here is really supportive. Um, we even have a couple Razor scooters that we use to cut down the amount of time it takes for us to get from our desk to the cafeteria when it's lunchtime. So there's, there's a good mix of fun and work here. Um, and we all have a great time working on our projects. The lab space is very open. No one's desk is hidden, so you can shout across the room to your teammate or coworker or boss and be like, hey, I need this question answered. And they're like, great, here's the answer.